Hey everybody, this is Rick from pseudosamurai.com and today we're uh, doing another tutorial and we're kind of going back over level editing. Okay, um, I'll put a link in the description about how we set up the level for Flash uh, last time and we're going to follow kind of a similar thing but we're going to change it up a little bit. So right here I have a standard level. Um, I just load it in and then I have a, a very basic initialize function. I'm just using a, a Swift for my hero. Um, so when I pull it up, you know, I've got my guy and he's jumping around. That's great. Okay, what I want you to pay attention to is up here in the corner, I have my frames per second, which is low because of the, the capture software. Normally it's around 60, but um, then we have the memory and then we have the draw. Okay, and right now I want to focus on the draw. Right now there's 84 draw calls per frame. Okay, and what that means is um, if we look at my level and I pull out my library right here, uh, not that big, okay, uh, and I, if, if I look at my use count here and I add all these numbers up, it's going to come out to uh, 83, okay, and then 84 is the, the Swift for my hero, okay, so 84 textures are being loaded onto the GPU and they have to be drawn every uh, frame. Okay, um, this isn't really a very efficient way to do that. It's not leveraging the technology very well. GPUs are good with textures, um, but really these two are the same texture. In fact, all these rocks right here are the same texture, but each one is getting its own texture for each draw call, um, or for each one gets its own draw call, even though it's all the same texture. Uh, that's really inefficient. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're trying to fix that a little bit. Okay, so um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my level here, and uh, the first thing I need to do is come in, and let's uh, pull up the actions here. And before we had a location to uh, the PNG file. Okay, so if I look over here in my sprites, um, right, there's a PNG located there okay so um, if I go into my project folder I have the sprites folder and each one is its individual own um, image okay what I want to do is put all those images together okay but before I do that I need to write that image won't be there when I put them all together so I need to change this to just reference the name of the image minus the location and the uh, the file type so just the name right so it has to be exactly the same though right so alien plant png I, I, I want to keep uh, the alien underscore plant but none of that none of the other stuff okay so what I need to do is go through all of my my objects in here and and change the uh, view to just the name of the the file okay uh, I'm not gonna make you watch me do that um, I've already done it so I'm going to close that real quick come back over here into my levels um, so I'm going to get rid of these guys and then copy over the new guys we'll open this one up okay and then so if I come in here look it's already done alien plant fence broken rock you get the idea okay so um, we're good. There's one thing I want to check. Yep. We're all good. Okay, and I'll even export it just to make sure I got my level. Okay, so um, we'll come back over here to, to uh, Flash Builder. Or actually, one more thing. Um, so all these sprites, we don't need these anymore. So we can get rid of all of that. So I'm going to delete that. Uh, all right, it's going to give me a hard time. Okay, I guess I deleted them twice. Okay, so um, now, before that, uh, what I need to do is make a, um, a sprite sheet using all these. Now, I could do it like this, generate sprite sheet, okay? And I'll even go through this real quick. Um, so just leave it at auto size. Max Rex is fine, though the difference between basic and max Rex isn't a huge deal uh, with a project like this. Um, we want starling. I have no padding and no shape, which is uh, no shape padding, 
which will come into play a little bit later, but uh, I'll just put it on my desktop, hit save. Okay, now if we come look at it, on my desktop, what we've got is all my images in a giant PNG, and then um, this, uh, this Sublime, or uh, I'm sorry, this XML file. But if I look at the name, because I used the movie clip, it, it added basically numbers for um, animation, okay? But this is a bit of a, a problem, right? I don't want this stuff, okay? So um, this isn't gonna work out for me very well, okay? So let's, uh, I'm gonna get rid of that. We'll come back in here and uh, I'll look at my image folder here and this has all the images, okay? And if you look, it has the, the use count as well. So I'm gonna select everything and get rid of um, stuff without a use count, right? And then also the front, I don't need that one, okay? I'll right click and uh, go generate sprite, sprite sheet here, okay? And uh, so again, all the same stuff, right? No space and whatever. One other thing is uh, I included spikes I don't know where they are. There they are right here. Okay, I don't actually use those, so I'm going to uncheck that. It'll get rid of them for me. Okay. Uh, and then I will export it to my desktop. Okay, now if we look at it, uh, it gives me the full name, right? But it still has the .png, okay? I don't want that. So I'm going to go through and get rid of that all together okay so once okay so uh, I went through and got rid of all the PNG or dot PNG behind these names so now it's just the name okay and that's what I want I'm gonna save that okay and then we can close that okay so I've got these guys and I will pull up my sprites folder and drag them in okay and uh, whoops trouble grabbing the top bar there Okay, so we come back in here, and now all we have is a hero Swift, hero level PNG, hero level XML. Okay, awesome. Next one I'm going to do is I'm going to embed these uh, my two new files, but I'm going to embed them in another class. All right, so I'm going to go new class. We're just going to call it R. Okay, and if you're familiar with um, uh, mobile development at all. Uh, this will seem pretty familiar, but basically we're gonna we're gonna put all our embeds and stuff outside of our our level class. That way we can use these embeds from different areas, uh, different code, you know, anywhere really. Okay, so um, I get rid of the constructor, and then I'm just gonna have my embed code. So embed, and then it's sprites. Whoops, um, hero level.png right okay and then we're going to make this a public static constant okay and I'll just call it um, level sprites and we'll make it a class just like that oops close brackets okay and then we'll um, try it again do um, the XML file, so that's called hero level dot uh, XML. Okay, and this needs a MIME type of uh, application octet stream right there. Okay, and again, this is a public static constant, and I'll just call this one level sprites XML. So, um, so in order to, to reference any of those, all I have to do, right, is just say r dot, and then there are my, um, you know, my my classes there. Okay. So it makes it easy if I were to reuse this tile set in another level or something like that, I can easily pull in this um, this tile set. Okay. 
So anyway, um, now what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to use those. I'm going to create a texture atlas. So I'm going to call it level text, and it's just a texture atlas. Okay, it's going to be a new texture atlas. Okay, and then we just need to send a texture. So we're going to say texture and we're going to import it. Make sure you get Starling Texture because there's a Flash Display 3D Texture. We want the Starling one. Dot from bitmap. Okay, and then we just need a new R dot and then uh, if we, actually if we get rid of the, the new keyword we can pull it up. We want the level sprites. Boom. But we still need that new keyword. So anything to avoid typing. I hate typing because I'm really bad at it. Anyway, um, so we, we get our texture, and then what we need is our XML. So new XML, and then we can say r dot, and then level sprites dot XML, right? But we still need that new keyword, because it, remember it's a class, so we need to make a new copy of that, that class, essentially. All right, and then close it. Boom. So now I have a texture atlas. Okay. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to erase this and pull this up. So there's the Object Maker 2D, but then there's the Object Maker Starling. We're going to use the Starling one. Okay. Um, and we're going to go from a bitmap or from a movie clip. I'm sorry. And it, it, it accepts two um, arguments. We have a movie clip, which is our level, right? But then it has a texture atlas argument, and this is for um, all the textures we use in our levels. So I'll just say level text like that, and just like this, okay? So I can get rid of the um, Object Maker 2D import, and let's cross our fingers. Okay, so now it's loaded. First thing to look at is up here, um, look at my draw count, it's now two. Okay, so all the textures throughout the entire level is one draw count, and then my hero, uh, you know, all his animation, everything, that's another draw count. So there's only two for this entire level. Okay, um, now I talked about the padding in when we generate a sprite sheet. If you look at this cloud right here, we have a line, okay, and that line is coming from, if I pull up my uh, sprite sheet here, So if we look at this cloud, it's touching the the bottom of my backdrop here. It's it's capturing like one pixel of that of that backdrop. So now I'm getting that line right above it. Okay, it's and it's all over the place. If you if you look around, you see um, all these lines just on, everywhere on most of the textures. Okay, so that's kind of a problem, but it's not too hard to to fix. Okay, so. What I'm going to do is close that, okay, and come back into Flash, and I'm going to uh, once again come over here and select all the all the things I want, right, and then uh, generate the sprite sheet, okay, and then all I'm going to do is just add like a one or two pixel uh, padding around all the shapes. So now there's a little gap between the cloud and the, the background level. And by doing that, I'll export it again. And look at it. Okay. Uh, they no longer touch, so I'm not going to have that line anymore. Okay. So um, unfortunately, I'm going to have to get rid of all those PNGs again. Okay. So uh, I'll do. Okay, so um, here we have our uh, XML with with all the, uh, the PNGs removed again. Uh, we'll save it real quick. Sorry, and uh, I'll just replace my two sprites right here. Boom. Okay. So I'm trying to save uh, screen real estate, so I have to move things around a little bit, but. Okay, so hopefully with the uh, new sprite sheet, um, we won't get those lines. Okay, so there we go.
no more lines in our level. All right, everything works good. We only have a two draw count per frame, so uh, performance can stay really good. I can make this level really big, but since it's all using the same texture sheet or sprite sheet for its textures, uh, it'll it'll keep its uh, efficiency. So there you go. Um, level editing, just a little bit more advanced. Okay, so very cool. Um, I hope this helps, and uh, good luck. Keep coding.